first shift tonight, you looked like you were feeling it. Did, was that how it felt to you out there? Yeah, kind of. I think uh, sometimes my game's kind of like that when, uh, you know, maybe something happens that, that's good early on. I kind of kind of feed off it. And, um, yeah, on, honestly, <laughs> to be completely honest, with you, I didn't feel that great going into this game. But once, uh, once we started playing, I kind of started to get going. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, my line mates and the, the D that I was out there with played really well tonight. Is that kind of how things really are for you? We've seen it kind of throughout your career where a little bit of confidence just does a lot for you. Is that kind of a key into tonight's game? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that's you know one of the things that I can almost work on too is is not needing something to happen for me to to kind of get going. But um, yeah, like I said, I think that's kind of how it is when when you make a play early or or uh, you know your first couple shifts are good. I think kind of any players like that, you're, you kind of get it going for the rest of the night. Do you feel like you had a shot mentality on that second goal? Already? Yeah, I, I I was thinking pass like I usually do uh, most of the way, and then I kind of saw that the the second guy was going to over back check, so uh, switch switched it up last minute, and then uh, and ended up shooting. What can you say about Kevin's pass and the difference? It was it was unbelievable. I, I think uh, you know before that happened, I was kind of behind him on the on the short side calling for the puck, and um, you know I, I think. He's got unbelievable vision, and uh, that's just a really special play to make right through the through the goalie stick, through the crease, and um, yeah, that, that goal was all him. That technically wasn't a power play goal, but it was scored right kind of in the way in the seconds of it there. I guess how much more chemistry did, did you feel? I know you've had some revolving, it's been a revolving door of guys on that unit. Yeah, I think uh, we're starting starting to get there a little bit. I think kind of building and uh, just getting more zone time. I think one of the biggest things for us was uh, you know, kind of just making sure our entries are good and getting in the zone, and uh, a lot of that's on me being the being the drop guy. I think, uh, you know, just trying to just trying to make the right play and, and get in the zone, and then once we get set up, I think we're we're improving a lot. So um, some guys are doing some really good things out there. Morgan, speaking of your, your power play entries, you know, when you do reps in practice, you're, you're starting in the other zone. So how much of improving it comes from the video study? Yeah, a lot. Uh, I mean, I've been doing it for most of the year, and uh, you know, to be honest, I think it's kind of something that I've done even throughout uh, junior and in the minors, and uh, pretty disappointed with how I was doing it for most of the start of the year. And um, you know, cause it's kind of all on you when you're back there alone, and then uh, you turn it over at the blue line, and then it's, you got to go all the way back and get it. So, um, yeah, watching video, just listen to the coaches, and. Um, you know, like I said, just trying to make the right play. John, we said, John has said that a lot of the young guys are on trial here. Do you feel like a game like this can really leave a lasting impression? Uh, maybe. I, I mean, I don't think it's just one game. I think it's it's throughout the whole season. And, um, you know, I've kind of said it before. I think a lot of guys still have a lot to, to play for here, myself included. And, um, you know, I, I want to be here next year. I want to be here for, for the long run. So um, every game is important to me. Morgan, I guess kind of as a follow-up to that, obviously we talked to, to John every day. A few weeks ago, heading into the stretch run, he basically told us that you've improved, but you still have a lot you need to prove to him. Is that a challenge that, that you kind of hear and, and you kind of make a point to want to respond to? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I know the situation I'm in, and um, I'm just I'm trying to do the right things. And, uh, you know, like I said, whether it's, whether it's making more plays or, or you know, be a little bit more reliable defensively, and um, I think even faceoffs too. My faceoffs have been pretty terrible all year, and uh, just really trying to hone in on that now and and show that I can play a complete game. And um, yeah, like I said, I, I want to be here in the future, so um, every game is important to me. Does it take a little bit of I wouldn't say pressure, but not to say that the Chuck Fletcher didn't think highly of you, but you have a pretty strong relationship with Danny Briere. The fact that he's now the interim GM, possibly could be the the full time GM. Do you feel a little bit better about your chances of, of maybe being a part of this long term? Uh, I don't think it really bases on that. I think, I mean, obviously, kind of talked to Danny a lot before, but um, you know, it is it is a business, and and now that he's in uh, in that position, I think, you know, friendships or whatever you want to call them, relationships, kind of go out the window a little bit, and um, I have a lot of respect for him, and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, nothing changes for me whether uh, whether it was Chuck or Danny. I, I still want to prove that uh, prove that I can play here.